Hi there, my name is Mike Montgomery, and today I'd like to bring you along on my first ever bathroom remodel project on Modern Builds. So the whole goal here was to remodel this bathroom on the cheap, under $500. Now while I talk, I'm gonna throw up some video of the old bathroom, and as you can tell, it was not in great shape. The colors on the wall were really ugly, the cabinets were in really bad shape, there really wasn't any good storage, and the lighting was, well, ugly. So obviously this was a pretty big project, but I think it came out pretty nice. I'm gonna have links to most all of the products I used in the written article on my website, so be sure and check out that link in the description. Otherwise, let's get started. So before I could make anything better, I had to, well, make things worse. So I disconnected all the plumbing, turned off all the water valves, and pulled out that old ugly countertop. Then I removed the old backsplash too. Now I didn't have a wonder bar or a crowbar with me, but a big flathead screwdriver worked out fine. Then once I had everything I needed removed, removed, I could get prepped for paint. First by spackling any holes in the cabinets or walls, then by spackling this patch of drywall. So when that tile backsplash came out, it took a little bit of the drywall with it, but not so much that I needed per se to put on a whole new piece of drywall. Instead, I tried my hand at texturing that section to match the rest, and it actually worked out pretty well. I put on three coats of spackle, sanding between coats with 220 grit, and eventually that seam and that edge just sort of faded away, especially once I got paint on it. And like I mentioned earlier, the whole goal was to do this all on the cheap, which is why I'm using the same paint that I had left over from painting the walls in the new shop. Not only is it leftover paint, but it's paint that I bought from my local Habitat for Humanity resale center for about 10 or 20 bucks. So at this point, the paint's all dry and I need to start cutting my countertop. I got this one for a really great deal at Ikea. 20 bucks. I know it's upside down, but just in case you don't believe me. You remember that kitchen cabinet upgrade I made a long time ago with my buddy Caleb? Well, when we are at Ikea getting the countertops for his kitchen, they had these on the discontinued aisle for 20 bucks a piece. For that price, I picked up five of them. I didn't really have a need for them at the time, but I figured for that price, I couldn't pass up on them. And just like in that old countertop video, I used some really simple metal L brackets to attach it to the cabinet. That way, if it ever needs removed, it's really quick and easy and won't damage the cabinets. Instead of doing a tile backsplash or anything like that, I am doing a wood paneled wall made out of one by sixes. So I'm just here cutting them all to length and then stacking and taping them up. Now I'm gonna have a really big mirror in front of this counter. So I don't wanna waste a ton of one by sixes since we're trying to do this remodel really, really cheap. So I just cut the parts that are gonna be showing and left the gap in the middle. That's not good. What's going on here is the countertop is not parallel to the ceiling. There's about a half inch gap from the left side to the right side. So I undid my countertop, put a couple spacers on the left side to raise it up a little bit. We're good. That way everything's nice and even. Once that was fixed and I knew all of my boards fit, I went and put on a couple coats of provincial stain by Minwax and then a coat of Danish oil to sort of seal it a little bit. So I'm gonna be using finished nails to attach the boards to the walls, but for a bunch of extra strength, I added some liquid nails construction adhesive to make sure this panel wall is really, really strong. So I just kept on putting board after board and eventually got to the last one and I didn't even have to cut it to width. Somehow six or eight, however many one by sixes was exactly the right length. So plumbing is definitely not my forte, but we got these really cool glass pedestal sinks online. And unlike with a drop-in sink, all I had to do was drill a couple holes for the drain and the faucet with Forstner bits. And a good quick tip, anytime you're drilling Forstner bits or any kind of hole in a laminate countertop, be sure and use masking tape to prevent it from chipping out. Overall, this install was not terrible, uh, but it definitely, <laughs> It definitely wasn't easy. One eternity later. All right, I think I got it. Give it a test. All right. Oh, never mind. We got a leak. All right, give it another shot. Uh. All right, I think we got it. It only took four hours. 
Now that the whole plumbing fiasco was taken care of, I could focus on making the new cabinet doors. And I had them cut to width at Home Depot on their panel saw. I cut them to the exact same size as the old cabinet doors to kind of minimize possible stress and problems. And I used this level once I had the first door on really straight as my reference. So long as I had the top of the cabinet door lined up with that, I knew it was going on straight and parallel with the rest of the doors. So going into this project, I had really big plans for the vanity mirror, and I still do. I wanna do an LED framed mirror, and I'm gonna do it. I've just ran into some problems along the way. Stay tuned to next week though, cause that will be the project video. So storage was one of the big problems with the old bathroom. There was really nowhere to put linens or extra toilet paper rolls and stuff like that. So I wanted to make a really simple shelf solution for above the toilet. Essentially all it is are some scrap one by sixes left over from the panel wall that I attached some shelf brackets to. These shelf brackets are super cheap and once you consider that the wood is free, this was a super quick, super cheap solution. And it looks good too. This, not okay. So I don't know about you all, but I hate a low shower head. I guess it's not really an issue if you're short, but it's an issue for me. Now I didn't want to go making a new outlet because one, I was scared I was gonna make a mess or some kind of leak behind the wall. And I also just didn't have tile to replace where that hole was. So I came across this pipe called an S pipe and I'll have links to it down in the written article. But all it does is just raise your shower head. It takes about 15 minutes to install. It's super, super easy. And while I was in the process of turning every other finish into chrome, I figured I might as well replace that old, ugly brass shower rod and get a new shower curtain, duh. So there you have it. This was my first real renovation project that I tackled 100% on my own. It was pretty intimidating going into it and there was a lot of moments where I was a little bit lost, getting frustrated, but it was definitely, definitely worth it. I'm so proud of how this came out and I hope you guys enjoy it too. How cool is that little drain? <laughs> Obviously, this wasn't one of my traditional furniture type builds, but it was fun getting to break out of the normal schedule and try something new. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this project. I was kind of going out on a limb, doing something outside of what I normally do. I would love to hear your feedback. Did you enjoy this type of video? Should I just stick to the furniture projects? Let me know because obviously, I wanna take your opinions into consideration because I wanna do this type of video again and I wanna know what might be able to make it better. I wanna give one more huge thanks to Thumbtack.com for sponsoring this video and allowing me to try something new like this. If you're looking for a professional, just about anything, go check out Thumbtack. Finally, I wanna plug my podcast, The Modern Maker Podcast, links in the description. Finally, if you enjoyed this project, I would love a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And if you wanna hit that little bell notification, feel free to do that as well to stay notified when I upload. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. I really do. It was a pretty big undertaking and I'm glad it came out well. Have a great week and we'll see you next week on Modern Builds. <laughs>